But yeah, uh, everyone forget that that match even happened. This was all just a dream. Yeah. So we got a match, all right. Uh, oh man, I can't wait more. to see these two players play and read the pace spin. Yes, I'm very excited. Uh, we've got a very good match between Shoe Horse and Death Star. Uh, they have very similar win rates. Oh yeah, wow. Now that you point that out, I, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both <laughs> one and two. But the interesting thing we can note is that they have different placements. Oh! Shoe Horse finishing in 44th and Desar finishing in 67th. Well, did that How did happen? that happen? I don't know. I, mm -hmm. Maybe Shoe Horse won a winner's match and Desar is a loser's match. Hmm. Very interesting. And then in terms of uh, Kirby art, uh, I... I do oh, yeah. think that it is it is kind of creepy. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about Shoe Horse's Curry? Uh, it's uh, I've seen uh, much more uh, uncanny. That's the word I want to say. Because like, it drops into the uncanny valley of like reality. Like you're not sure whether or not you can accept this. Hmm. But I do appreciate the clearly drawn in pen. This looks like a doodle that someone did on their math homework, like in the margins, after they had either finished the test or have decided that the test wasn't worth their time. If I was grading a test and this curvy was on the side, I would like track the point. You would be a teacher who would uh, take away points for bad drawings. Well, this one, yes. <laughs> like it's the the problem is this is not a bad drawing. This is a like a. It's just a disturbing drawing. Yeah, it's a good drawing of a disturbing thing. But I don't like it. It is trying to make me uncomfortable. So, like, if a cute raccoon was, like, in the margin, oh, would yeah. you give it extra credit? <laughs> I would be more lenient on the questions. I mean, the answer was five, <laughs> and you wrote 5,000? I mean, it's just... It's got a five in the number. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, the zeros we learned yesterday, you can just add zeros to a number, and it'll stay the same. Yeah, I mean, we need more bias uh, teachers giving extra credit or taking away credit for inane things. That's how we save the education system. Everywhere. And then Desdar's photo. Um, at first I thought it was like a weird 007 thing. But it's clearly like an eyeball of like a dragon of some sort. I thought it's Kirby. I mean, it's it's a very uh, loose interpretation of Kirby. Yeah. Either the spiral signifies how Kirby sucks like everything in, mm -hmm. and then the eye is just how. Oh. That's actually the, uh, it's not even an eye, it's like a black hole of the inside of Kirby. Oh god. Like the endless void. What do you think? Because where does it go? What do you think about the fact that Kirby is angry in America and not in any other country? <laughs> it's just the eyebrows. Well, yeah, but like... <laughs> and they flip up so They flip up the face. They have, they have uh, attitudes in America. I, I think it's very funny. I do prefer the uh, not angry Kirby art. I, I also agree it's funny. They were like, oh man, we gotta appeal to the American audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I want to think of those, like, other characters that have, like, what if they did that with, like, Hello Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> or like Elmo, like an Elmo produced J Japan game, but they gave Elmo angry eyebrows. <laughs> Elmo's gritty number adventure. Like, I wonder if the reverse happens, like an American produced game that has angry box art 
gets pulled, that gets like remade in Japan to make it be happy box art. Isn't that Crash Bandicoot? Like he's got attitude in America, but then in Japan he's got those eyes, the weird eyes. Oh, I'm not even sure. I'm I'm not as. I never had Crash, so I never played it. So now I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, hold on. I'll, I'll put it on stream. Cause I'm like, I think to some extent it's the case. Yeah, we got Crash. We got Crash Bandicoot uh, America and Europe, right? Mm-hmm. And then we find the Japanese one. There's no good pictures of the Japanese one. <laughs> I mean, this, this, this is the best one I can find. Hold on. Yeah, kind of tiny, but I can blow it up. See, he's like happy and not so angry. He's more cartoony in the, Jap the Japanese box art. And gosh, the teeth in the American one. Ugh. I think that's a case of a reverse Kirby. Yeah. I mean, but like, I guess Crash is still smiling. He looks more menacing. Yeah. yeah he's it's, got it's, attitude. It's, it's attitude. He does have. A, he's got attitude. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think of like God of War, and then like <laughs> the Japanese box art <laughs> is him like smiling. With still like all the corpses. I mean, there's there's like, like there's like some notable bad American box art, but it doesn't really have to do with attitude. You know, like Eco and uh, Heavy Rain. Those are like two examples I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. And then there's the weird ones. I always think of what was that? Uh, uh, shoot 'em up. Alex? Yeah, the one with the the guy with the banjo. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, it would catch my eye, I'll be honest. Yeah, I mean, like, it's the one that's like, wait, what? <laughs> and I've heard the story behind it, too. It was just like, yeah, they did it just to stand out. Well, yeah, it works. But what else? What else can we riff on uh, before we have uh, this match that clearly didn't happen yet? Yeah, no, this is the first time these two are gonna have a game. And just looking at the flavor text, we got crosswords on shoe horse, and then jumping the gun and not even wait for the countdown. Is it in shoe horse's defense? Uh, question on the website was like what is your special ability mm -hmm. like it's not just randomly crosswords yeah. like the, the, the context is his special ability yes some people chose to ignore it some people just actually answered the question yeah like most people chose to ignore it and i guess they were correct in doing so because i i never got around to redesigning these cards <laughs> So. I mean, these two did probably have a match already, correct? Or is this their first match? No, they, they did have a match. I showed it earlier. Oh. Well, earlier when? Uh, in in the before times be or be in the now times? Before the shramble time. Although that time didn't exist. We had uh, Shuhars playing a virtual boy game, Bounty High, kind of a pogo game. Oh, yeah, like the, the bouncy game. Yeah, that's a good. It's the best virtual boy game there is, and it never came out. <laughs> that's cool. And then we have Death Star playing the adventure of Little Ralph, which was a platformer until it wasn't. Yeah, so that's a very classic 2D PS1 game. It's been in this tournament a lot. Really? I feel like. It was the first time I've seen it. Yeah, I remember, like, all the boss fights are fighting game, but like the rest of the game is platformer. Yeah, we got to the first boss.
But we're probably getting close to having a game being drawn and getting set up all taken care of. Yeah, almost ready. Just waiting for Shoe Horse. But I mean, that's good. That probably means Shoe Horse is reading the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to, like, imply anything over here. I don't want to imply that people can read in Mystery <laughs> Tournament, but... <laughs> it is rules 1, 3, 5, and 12. Uh, the good numbers. 12 is a good number. We should have used, like, a 12 system instead of base 10. Yeah, Base 12. Yeah, obviously. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 dividable. Just 5 not. I mean, bakers use the base 12 for eggs. I guess. I mean, a baker's dozen is like 20, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, a baker's dozen is 13. 13? No, that's the worst. It's a prime number. <laughs> I know. Don't use a prime number as your base. That's just silly. The military uses base 23 for time. What? Yeah, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then when you get to 12, it becomes 13, 14, 15, 16, until like 11 o'clock p.m. is 23. Or is that base 24? Yeah, that's base 24. See, I, I didn't do math. I'm a theater person. <laughs> like, if you have base 10, you don't go. Like, you end at 9 is the highest single digit number. I used to be good at math, and then I went to college and learned that that's not okay. Oh, this has the music from the original game. We got Loco Roco Midnight Carnival, and this is indeed Ooh. the music from Loco Roco. Oh, I gotta ask him to turn it up. Music. <laughs> this is a PSP game, if I... Yeah, this is PSP. Did we... I want to say we did a full game race of this. No, we did a full game race of Loco Roku, the base game. Oh, Midnight Carnival is kind of like, like a mini game kind of. Is it a mini game? Okay, so it's like it's not mini games, but like, I don't know. It's like a spin-off. I I, for, I forgot what exactly happens, but I think it's more. You don't control the planet. You mm -hmm. you only control like springs or something. We'll see. Yeah, but this game is full of charm. I like the the green song too. Green and black are the best ones. That's right, yeah, because they all sing their own individual songs yeah. for the levels. Did I have to pick? pick? Hold on. Base spin. Ready up, fix, blah, blah, blah. Pick a different oh, character. Yep. Oh. They both picked the black one. Well, I mean, the black one's music is good. I like black and uh, green. So, so that's your tier list for uh, the singing? Yes. So black and green are S tier. Yeah, and then yellow. Yellow is good. And then, like, maybe red. Purple wasn't even in the base game, so I can't tell you much about purple. Uh, and then pink and blue can just... You can stay home. <laughs> they can stay home. Oh, this is yellow now. Alright. Wait, this is not the music. Wait, we are controlling the world. One boing. What? Two boing. What? Three boing? What is going on? Anyway, this is Loco Roco apparently. Okay. I don't know, mm -hmm. I, I for apparently I forgot what this game is about. In Loco Roku, you control the world. It's kind of like Monkey Ball. Uh, you can tilt left and right. You can make everything jump a little bit. You can combine your Loco Roku by holding square button. And you can split them by tapping it. Oh, and our goal is just to get to the end of the level. Need a timed flicks to jump high. Yeah, that's not in the base game. Two boing. Three boing. Three boing. Four, four, four boing. boing. Oh my god. Uh, every time we eat one of those orange plants, we grow by one. You can see the current number of Loco Roco we control, have, less, in the top left. 
And then at the end of the level, you win. There you go. There, Just start. There is no requirement for how many local Rocco you need at the end. You just gotta get to the end. Characters are cosmetic. Well, I mean, maybe the music will make you go faster. I guess it's like smaller local Roku levels by boinging all the way. Really? Do you get like a combo bonus if you boing all the way? Yeah. Uh, haven't you boinged all night? I would, I would rather not talk about that. Deathstar had a 10 boing combo. Oh my god, 11, 11 boings. Boing. 12. 12. Oh, that's a dozen. I guess this is Loco Roku with boinging. Wait. Oh, they make little boing noises too. Boing. Oh yeah, if you hit those black spike things, uh, some of your Loco Roku will like separate from your main body, and then you can like collect them again, kind of like Pikmin, I guess. I think Pikmin has something like that. Sort of, I mean... But yeah, like, basically you can rebuild yourself. Yeah, if you're fast enough, there's a timer. And there's these Muja. They have invaded the planet, at least in the base game. I don't know the story of this. And... They've invaded the carnival. They will eat you. You can kill them by boinging into them at a high enough velocity. Oh, that's not a high enough velocity. Shuas gets eaten. Shuas is down to one boingo. I mean, loco roco. But it's good one enough. One boingo. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good enough. Makes it to the finish. Just after this stuff. Really, really close after two levels right now. Yeah. Also, luckily for all of us, this game does not have a difficulty selection. <laughs> And, and also, character selection didn't actually matter. Yeah. Like, you cannot screw this up. Oh, there's going to be a thing in this hole. Like a weird worm that goes, ooh, when you ride it. Stop, friend. Stop boinging. you got to ride the thing. Stop boinging. Stop boinging your friend and ride your friend. Oh, no. Ah. You just got hit by the bikey thing and then immediately caught it. Oh, it goes, oh. <laughs> That's so Japanese. Oh god, the sound design of this game is fantastic. I mean, the whole game is fantastic. I remember people not liking Loco Roco very much because the levels get very long. So maybe this is actually a better game for that, because the levels are a lot shorter. Uh oh. Ooh, that's probably not good. Uh oh. I mean, I don't think there's... a pit? Oh. Oh, this is a cat. This is a Frankenstein monster. This is a mime? <laughs> mime! <laughs> uh oh. What? Where are we going? The horse is boinging too much. Stop boinging. Jesus. Just chill on this guy's head for a bit. And there we go. And now boing. Boing onto Steve over there. Well, Steve, Steve doesn't like being boinged on. Oh jeez, Steve, oh, Steve is wobbly. He, he's got the wiggle. The Steve wiggle. <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez, we, we, we got like... That was weird. Why is that stuff so green? Oh my god, he's got 30 boings, that's why he's green. He's so green, he's got the big boing combo. The, <laughs> the big boings? <laughs> big boing. <laughs> Put your big boings in chat. <laughs> Oh, that star is having trouble climbing the, uh, Steve and uh, Lucy over there. Yeah, Lucy just does not want to be boinged on. Yeah, that star doesn't build the world left. Yeah. 
51 points. I mean, this is crazy. Horse accidentally went into... Oh, I guess there's some mini-game levels, so I think the pacement probably says to avoid those ones. Oh, it's the Ice World. Ice World. Oh. I was going to say it's the best one, but we're dead. Yeah, so there are some bonus game levels between these stages. <laughs> sure, stop! Oof. But this time doesn't die. Oh no, Desta lost his boing combo. Small boings. Desta just... Yeah, sure. It's just a hard time with this boinging. I don't know what it is. I think Desta is just tilting the world too far to the right. And then doesn't have time mm. to tilt it back to the left to boing off loose. Yeah, I don't know if... Um. We know it's not a control issue because this game has like two buttons. We got it! Nice. Who's the first guy? Yeah, he's he just French. <laughs> just French, yeah. This costume. I mean, it's a carnival, so you've got, you know, your strongman French guy. Yeah. Your your cat. Oh, you don't even need Everyone. to tilt the world to the other side to boing off loose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So it's gonna get on Lucy. Oh, we got a penguin in a Santa costume. The penguin is in the base game. He doesn't have a Santa costume in that. Yeah, but unfortunately for Death Star, Shoe Horse does have a one level lead now. Yeah. Post your Steve Wiggles in the chat. Who's, who's the orange guy? Very sleepy. Uh, uh, that's Wallace. Wallace, I like it. So we got Lucy, Wallace, and Steve. Steve is grumpy, Lucy is just regular, and Wallace is very sleepy. <laughs> I mean, we're going to, like, old-school animation. Lucy's main defining trait is that she is a woman. <laughs> she's, she, was... she's the diversity. <laughs> yeah, she is the it's, diversity. That's all we can afford. Oh, wow. We got absolutely grabbed over there. Death Star really needs to get a better handle on, on just, the rotation boings. Yeah, and, and just like, like, see, it doesn't rotate away from full rotation in order to land on Steve. It's not really ready to adjust its angles. That is clear for Death Star. Uh, just the snow level behind, and now. Shoehorse on the jungle level, where we've got some swinging vine. Yep. Let's go swing and then shake. There we go. Bonus game. No bonus game. Oh. I hope Shoehorse knows how to swing. There's a monkey. Yeah, it seems like the vines are pretty forgiving, but you probably got to get that monkey off the vine. I mean, you can just bounce up there, right? Oh my god, the monkey's mm. root! Ouch! Oh, get out of here, monkey! Yeah, boing that monkey. Yeah, you don't even get a name. <laughs> You're just monkey rude to people us. Don't rude people don't deserve names. Yeah, like, Steve is grumpy, but at least Steve is helpful. <laughs> Oh, when you fall down, you you get murdered by the fit like like the fish in Jack and Dexter or something. That fish gave me nightmares. Oh, no checkpoints though, so I guess the levels are short enough where. I guess it does make sense that there isn't checkpoints. I mean, they're not super short. 
And with how easy it, it can apparently be to fall off the map, as Tester shows. What is that axe throwing yeah, thing? What? I missed that the first time. Yeah, this blue guy. In the base game, he just, like, shouts at you, and when he hits you, you fly back. In, in this one, in, like, he upgraded his weaponry to, to cutting and blunt axe. weapons. Who else really wants to kill the monkey? I appreciate it, because this monkey is a dick. But... Doesn't really have to, I think. I think. I think it's a very precise boing, though, to get up there. Uh, is it? You boing so high. But you have to boing at the right angle. I don't think it's that hard. I've got to be careful not to... so those plants at the top, they will pretend to be swinging vines, and then when they grab you, they eat you. Oh, like the half-life thing. Oh, yeah, like the barnacles. Oh, yeah, like that. Rip, rip that, Loco Roco. Look, they built statues to Steve in the background. They... No, they... that guy was sleepy. That was Wallace. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. If we're gonna get the lore of these names, Maurice, you gotta stay consistent. Uh, was this on one HP? These... Ah, two HP. We got these pumpkin trees in the background. Oh, they're, they're from Breath of the Wild. In the Lost Forest. Or <laughs> yeah, the... yeah. First, you have to boink. Woo! And I think that is the end of that level. Yeah. So, maintaining his more than one level lead. Death Star is doing a little bit of a s struggle on this ice level, but I think it's nearing the end of it. Yeah, because there's the Santa Penguin, and I believe right after that... Oh, uh, don't fall down! No, don't fall! It's right there! Uh, uh. Death Star just keeps the world tilted at all times, and I think that's... Like, just has to be a little more careful. I think Desar is really taking to heart the don't tilt aspect of Mystery Tournament, but unfortunately, that's not going to help them in this. I mean, really, that they're, they're completely tilted. They're tilted by not tilting. No, they are tilting. Too much. <laughs> I've got. Not sure what. Is this just dusk? Is that like the design of this level for <laughs> Shoe Horse? Oh, where is this? Put down. One HP. I think in the base game, this level style is kind of prehistoric. These rocks around, mm -hmm. you can break. Alright, Shoe Horse back up to 2 HP now. Since you can't split or combine in this game, it's really more like HP. The base game, it's a bit more complicated because you can split and then like get through small. Oh, you can also split in this. We just haven't seen it for some reason. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> game over. Game over. Player dead. Do we want three trips to thing? Oh. There are checkpoints! You just pay 300 thingies. Oh, that's not, that, that wasn't a good jump by Tester. He also changed color to yellow. Or was he always yellow? No, he's always Two yellow. Hearts was oh, always God. yellow. Yeah. For some reason, I just thought he was still... I was I was messing up. Oh my god, Tester keeps getting owned! Who else is going backwards? It's a fun fact about like everything they say, and also the songs that they're singing. It's all made up. It's not any. It's not like Japanese or any other language. It's gibberish. Yeah. I mean, everything's made up at some point. So. Do you think in a thousand years people are gonna speak Loco Roco? <laughs> I mean, there's people who speak Simlish. 
Is, is there any actual structure to Simlish? Outside of like, Skibidaba? I mean, it's not like uh, Elvish or something, which has an actual kind of language, is it? Probably not, but... There's probably some words. All you have to do for Simlish is just, like, raise your arms up in the air. And that's pretty much the language. All I know is woohoo! Yeah. All you need is this woohoo until you die. Yeah. Oh, here's a checkpoint for Shoe Horse, but he didn't lose, use it last time. Does the pace bin not tell you about them? Let's consult the pace bin. Um, checkpoint. If you've passed it, you can pay with Piccories to continue from here for the next three lives. Did Shoe Horse maybe not have 300 Picklies? Piccories? I, I don't think. <clears throat> maybe. Uh, I didn't see. Because uh, I thought they said yes, but maybe they already lost three lives. <laughs> but Desnar did get through snow level onto jungle japes. And let's see if he gets uh, hold of these vines a little faster. That looked good. Who else was Those are some nasty jumps. That star didn't did, bounce. Did not boing. Didn't boing. No boing. Sorry. Oh, she has respawns at the checkpoint this time. I wonder how many levels are in this bowl. Well, who knows? Sometimes it's like easy to tell how many levels there are. Mm -hmm. Because it's, when if, you see it? if it's like, oh, beat 4-4, four, four, it's probably 16 levels, right? But in this one, who knows? Could be anything. Also, this, wow, this thing is huge. Good point. Oh, boss fight. It's got its own, like, choir. Yeah, because it's unclear what Kala... Caro one, where that could actually be. I don't know, this guy seems real sad. Oh, you, you're boinging him. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Doris is stuck in a bad place! Oh my god, oh my god. But it keeps collecting. Oh my god! Gets out! It's, it's on 1 HP though, and this thing can eat you. So if, if you collide with him too slow, he will eat you, and you can't get out if you only have one loco. It will be instant death if Shuhos like fails to boing him. But is getting a Ooh. good amount of points oh, right now. Is he really gonna go down there? I don't know about this. We're boinging. Wait, could oh it's leaving. Wait, no, Shuhos could get out of here, couldn't he? There's like a gap on the right there. Why are Maybe. we why are we killing this thing? Yeah, hey, we're just leaving. Screw this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like he was almost dead, but screw him. And I feel I could only fit through that gap because they were one. <laughs> we collected one out of seven. Kind of looks like a football game result. Alright, skipping the bonus game. Let's see what the level name is called. It's not the goal. We know that much. Oh! New minigame opened. Oh wait, the name just changed after being told that but it's still not the game. That stuff falls down again. Has yeah, a re really hard time. We got ourselves a water level now. Water levels weren't the thing in the base game. You would always float on top of water. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was too close. Ooh, yeah. I guess it's... 
Yeah, I'm not sure how the controls work with wa underwater. Do you just, like, maintain the middle? Because you don't have buoyancy. Is it just you move slow? Ooh, right into the puffer fish. Yeah, I guess he's not the puffer fish king. Let's let that sit for a bit. Oh, the Desta would- what? The one time where Desta would just survive by keeping full tilt. Shoehorse went for the quick 13-point combo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this otter is stealing us! What the? That's not nice. You know, otters gotta eat too. And if everyone loves eating these Locorocos, they probably taste fantastic. Do you think the yellow one tastes like... Maybe like banana? I would say, actually, mango. Mango. Yeah, that makes sense. The black guy is gonna be like like a berry. Blackberry or something. Blackberry. The red one is obviously a tomato. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't want to eat that, though. Yeah, no, no. Is that the end? That is the end for Shoehorse. Moving on to the next level. And then, like, give give your energy to Death Star. Let's hope. Uh, I might boing up this one. Ignoring the monkey. I think he's actually trying to hit the monkey and not a very good job, though. There we go. Right, got him. That was pretty good. Did not see what this level name was titled. Oh, yeah. Check, I forgot about it. But it's cool. We're Indiana Jones now. Or whoever is a lot on ziplines. Who's, who's a character who's a lot on zipline? Sonic the Hedgehog? Um, well, he's on grind rails. No, he's also on ziplines in Sonic 3. Oh, yeah, there's that one level. It's but like the first one Angel Island. But I feel like there's a character that actually has, like, zip loins more consistently than the one game. Uh, there's... Oh, overshoots. There's the the weird NES Japanese game we played that, that where you can, like... It's not a zip line, I guess. It's more like a climbing line, but it's an liner. Oh, there's um the top 8 game I played against Alpha. Uh, something something holiday something. Oh, Ford Parker. Yeah, Ford Parker. That's a zipline game. But no. Oh, Desdar, it was right there. Mm -hmm. Desdar's had a lot of like right at the end deaths. It's just having a really tough time of like tilting the world in the way to make the local Roku go where he wants it to. This thing's funny, like when you hit it, it like sucks you in and then you can get spit out. Pretty fun. Yeah. Oh, who's this guy? This is like Hank or something. Hank, yeah. Hank is also grumpy, but like grumpy in a different way. Yeah, like, like I don't know. I don't. I, I would. I would invite Steve to a party, but not Hank. Hank's just upset that he has to do stuff. Yeah, like, I, I don't want him at my party. Steve is like, he'll be upset, but he actually wants to do it. Yeah. But he has a persona to keep up. Yeah. Oh, uh, this guy just killed Shoe Horse. He's not getting a name. <laughs> what you get? I 
But there's also these small hangs. They're even more rude. They literally try bobbies. to kill you. Those are bobbies. You got bobbies uh, and hanks. Yeah, bobby. These guys are like threat. Alright, jumping from Fred to Hank. Hua hua hua. Hua hua hua. Sounds like. Pain. <laughs> That's like a character from like Mario Party or something. Hua hua hua. So you want me to steal the star? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> There's a door in your way? I could get rid of it for you for a price. For money. Ten coins. What do you think all the thrums do with the money? I think they have to, like, probably upkeep. Like, if you're going to smash into the ground continuously, there's going to be some cracks. Makes sense. All right, Shuhos beats this level that we didn't see the name of. Uh, there's no dot done, so it's probably not Kalokara. It's probably, probably not. Damplin 2. Oh, it's snow again. I like snow. Snow is the funnest part. Oh, that's not ice. Not the fun. Yeah, you get so much air. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. SSX tricky, tricky right there. <laughs> Oh my god, and if you keep bouncing inside these tunnels, you just get free <laughs> combo, it's so stupid. But like, if you actually care about score, you're gonna be mashing hey. bounce every time you're in a tunnel. 53 boing! How high can this boing go? There's no limit to the boing. That's some big boings right there. So wh while we have seen Shoehorse have some issues, Death Star is just having a really, really rough time with any yeah. pit. This isn't... like... You don't really encounter a control scheme like this very often in games. So this is... this might be a unique experience. Because I can't think of any other games that control like Local Roco. It's also one of the rare ball games where you don't control the ball. Yeah, you control the land around it. Yeah, you control the whole world. Every time this thing wants to jump, people die. <laughs> the curse of the Lokoroko. Death Star's made it to the checkpoint of this level. Mucho, mucho! That is another clear for Shoe Horse. This, is, this lead is... It's like getting almost four or five levels at this point. Yeah. We're 30 minutes in. How long can this game be? What's going on? What are they doing? Are we allowed to show this? Oh, did they just power up the enemies? No? I don't think so. Well, they just gave them a saw. Well, the, the red things aren't enemies. They're your friends. They're the Oh, well, this is it. This is the goal. Oh, this, this is Calicaro 1. Calicaro? Oh, we're, we're in Africa, I guess. Maybe it's Mexico. Oh, who's this? <laughs> well, look at that guy. We are in Africa. Alright, good job. Like wall jumping down this pit, the classic wall jumping obstacle. Mm. This time you're a loco roco. Gotta jump off the oh no. giraffe. Get back on the giraffe. Oh no! Oh no! Oof. 
the Lion King level. Yeah. Yes. I just can't wait to be round. To be boing. <laughs> Everybody boing left. Everybody boing right. Yeah, I've got a disadvantage here, and I know the German lyric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna name this guy with the helmet. Yeah, but what is his name? Oh, it's gotta be some nerd name. Yeah, this like guy does some yeah, stuff. yeah. He's he's like a larper. He goes to real life events and pretends to be a knight. He goes by the name Shadow Horse. Ooh. But his real name is just like. Dennis. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> oh! Oh! That again. Like, my people need me. I'm Shadow Horse. Shut up, Dennis. According to my calculations, we are. Really screwed. <laughs> right, Death Star has to make it across these platforms that gave both of the players a lot of issues. Doing a really good job here. Like, tilting left and right onto the bus. Alright, we're gonna see if uh, Death Star can get the, the weird one <laughs> gap. I mean, the door is closed. Maybe it just open. Maybe. Oh, what if this is like Undertale? And you, like, you can spare the big Muja. <laughs> But only after doing like a specific thing, like hurting it all like enough. Game is under tank. Oh no, the oh star no. gets eaten. Has only one HP left if he doesn't get this back. Oh, but gets it back! Can collect it, maybe I don't know. Yes, collected it. Two HP. So much boinging. Big boings. Oh, it's got a little, it's got a little thing on its head. I think you, I think Death Star actually killed it. I don't think Going it's Going genocide yet. route. I'm more curious why the door isn't opening for, for Death Star. Oh, there it is. So now you can choose to spare it or kill it. Oh no! Oh, he gets no, eaten! He got eaten! Oh, no! That's what you get for not valuing life. Also, Shoe Horse dies. Oh, and Dennis just <laughs> throws Shoe Horse into the abyss. Oh, Dennis. Come the fuck on. There's so many tennises. Guys everywhere. Yeah, you need a lot of them to do a good LARP. Oh, yeah, these are actually Dennis's friends. See, there's like the green, the blue, and the brown one. So we got Dennis, Dexter, and Dimitri. Dimitri, yes. <laughs> yeah, and their uh, aliases are Blade Scale and Thunderbolt. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're throwing Molotovs. <laughs> I think it's torches, but yeah, could be Molotovs. Um, I feel like Shuas is getting close to the end. Yeah, I can't imagine this level has got any more tricks up its sleeves. Any more Dennis's to throw at us? Yeah, I mean, there have been so many Dennis already. But oh, this is a tough jump. You just, oh, unless you can just stay. Yeah, okay, never mind. An easy jump. <laughs> just Dennis again. There's another Dennis, but I think oh, that's this is the, the end. last Dennis. Yeah, this is the end. It's gonna be a clear. Oh, easy. Two horse beating that one guy by one second. You love to see it if you're the person who dot done before. Yeah. You hate to see it if you're the other one. Especially since with the second, like, could be anything. Could could have just been that you started a little early or dot done a little early, like, who knows. But yeah, that's a clear. Pretty well done from Shuhos. Only had, like, issues on those two levels that Death Star is on the second one of right now. And other than that, just a pretty solid performance. That saves his rent. Very nice. Oh, murdered! Oh, dead! 
Murder. Genocide. We're locked into the genocide right now. There will be no Dennis. <laughs> Dennis is gonna have a gun. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, uh, I would I would say Shuhurst did a pretty good job with this. Uh, Grasping controls. Didn't spend too much time having to redo levels. Got the biggest points combo. Oh yeah. That was like a 60 or something crazy. Yeah, it, it went up to 60, I think. I think that's a world record. So yeah, this song, like all the words are just completely made up. I mean, again, every word is made up at some point. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> nerd. Talking about Dennis being a nerd and then you say that. What is... Test star, you got a boing. Got a boing, Death Star. Can you not boing in the water to just load up? Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that was the mechanic. Yeah, I thought that's what Chuhos was doing earlier. Oh my god. Chuhos loves this game so much. We got like firework level, and we are joined by Shoehorse. Uh, GG, congrats on your win! Probably unmute the microphone. Thank you. Hi. Hello. That's oh no! Fun game. You rolled off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I cannot tell you how many times I'd be in the middle of a level and I'm like, all right, L and R, L and R, we got this, and then I'd be like, oh, hold left on the D pad. I'm like. What? No, that's... <laughs> There's literally two buttons. <laughs> There's also the split button, but I think you used it once. Oh, I never intentionally split. There it, was... It's a thing you do a lot in the base game, because there's like these chinko sections, but this game really didn't have them. Yeah, this game really emphasized the, the boing platforming mm -hmm. elements that, I don't, that uh, as Marie said, weren't even in the base game. Yeah, no, no boinging in the base game. The, the boing is great. Love the boing. It's yeah, so we... satisfying when you go through a skinny zone and you get that boing up to like 50. Oof. Yeah, oh, we yeah. saw you got like a <laughs> 60 combo in the, the second ice level. Yeah. Oh my god, that ice level. I, I thought I was going to die in there when there was just like, you have to somehow stop yourself at the top of, uh, at the, top of the loop. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You were just that going in a loop. And I was thinking <laughs> yeah. about that too, but while you were doing it, you, oh, he's probably thinking like, oh man, I'm wasting so much time here. <laughs> yep. Um, but it's fun, it's fun. Yeah, the one a huge weakness of mine is whenever I'm playing any sort of PlayStation-related game, and there's a prompt on the screen that's like, press circle. I was like, I don't, I don't know which one that is. Oh, I got that with <laughs> Xbox. Like if it asked me to press Y, think about mm -hmm. it for a second. Yeah, you know, which which quadrant is X this time? Right. <laughs> Good old X, but here comes cyber disease. But yeah, this game this game's sweet. Uh, the wall bouncing is very much like um, some of the later stages on on the ball, where like you got restricted gravity, so you got to bounce off of walls back and forth. So would you say like your on the ball experience gave you a little bit of a an edge with understanding the controls for this game? It at least definitely helped with like getting a rhythm down. Um, I think it was potentially advantageous. There was a lot of just figuring out like uh, how much um, how much the game will just sort of let you go at the correct pace. You know, you know, games when they're like, yeah, you just, the platforms are spaced perfectly, so you just hold right and jump. Right? Yeah, Other times they're like, no, 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 you got to go really slow. Yeah, so, there's a classic Andy quote that's like, go as fast as the game allows you. Mm -hmm. 
it was a lot of figuring that out just like can i just hold down the right shoulder button the whole time and just keep tapping the left one for the most part yeah yeah because you, you were doing a lot of expert bouncing uh death stars had a little bit of an issue uh with doing a little too much tilting mm -hmm. and not really grasping all the time of how to perfectly bounce tilt correctly mm. but i think it's finally got more of a rhythm to it now ah <laughs> and the uh the first game was sweet too i feel bad that you know secret secret couldn't, couldn't menu well but yeah well hopefully we'll, we'll get to see that game again with another match yeah and for those watching this vod You'll never know what that game is. No. Also, I'm glad that the goal was what it was, because maybe it's just I'm talking during this, but man, this one is... Yeah. This one's doing me. Yeah, this one seems to have a lot of death areas. <laughs> It's probably a response to uh, the base game being called very easy by a lot of people. Mm. But they were like, oh yeah, well, how about this then? How about we make it hard? And then they get upset. Game's too hard. Oh, no! Well, I also really underestimated the uh, the importance of the like health up berries. Just because... For the most part, you can just kind of get through levels. Again, the game will sort of let you do it. Mm -hmm. But then when you hit those those spikes and you just blow up, it kind of hurts. Or when the monsters eat you, I don't know. There's a lot of, a lot of interesting deaths here. Yeah, you really got to get by this Chauncey guy. This is John? This is Chauncey. Chauncey? Yeah, look at his legs. I don't know. It's a Chauncey if I've ever seen one. Looks more like a Lanky. Lanky's too obvious a name. Mm. We're not Donkey Kong 64 here. Okay. Only know Lanky as the guy for, like, the Super Mario Lanky. Is it Super Mario Lanky? Wait, is he yeah, the Super Mario Lanky? In the Super Mario Maker. It's Lanky oh. Mario. I oh. think that's his official name. Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. The fucker has like a microphone that every time something risky is happening, he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yep, riding Hank here. Yeah. We, we came up with all these funny names for the, for the characters. Is that, is that the owl? <laughs> yes, it is! Yeah, that's wow. the owl. And then the little ones are bobbies. Okay. The owl started and I was like, oh my god, this is the sand bird from sunshine I, I this is gonna be terrible I mean, for the most part it was fine but yeah who, who do you think dennis is dennis yeah. um is dennis the the sort of boss that you fight oh no 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 we didn't name any of the characters that hurt you yeah those, oh, they don't deserve oh, okay. names we only we only named the helpers oh um dennis should be dennis feels like the uh the, like, bird that scorched you out or whatever? Oh. <laughs> I don't think we gave him a name. The problem is he has probably an official name. Yeah, wow. they all probably have official names, but... <laughs> no, Dennis is the guy with, like, the, the hat or whatever. The little thing coming out of his hat that's, The like... really lanky, skinny guy in the last level. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that... Who, who threw you with his, like, little hat. Oh, that's what that. I thought that was just like a giant worm thing or a hose or something. I just that was a hose. No, that's Dennis. Yeah, that's Dennis. Dennis. Oh, okay. yeah, don't that don't disrespect nerd. Dennis like that. I mean, we disrespected Dennis a lot because we called him a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it. It's got it's got the big hat. I mean, who wears a big hat like that? And his two nerd friends. Yeah, Dexter oh, and those, Dimitri. Are those the uh, the? giraffe and the elephant no no they were, they were like three different colors of dennis oh oh they so okay so they're not all the same creature. no of course not 
No, they, everyone's an individual in this game. Except if they hurt you. Like, the monkey didn't get you any... Yeah, damage. yeah, screw the monkey. <laughs> well, there's the... There's also... I'm very confused by the creatures that save you from falling into a bottomless pit, but also kill you. No, those are mo mo mojos. I think they eat you. Okay. It's like but the they only eat you if you're gonna die anyway. Well, I mean... They are well, they what want a free you. meal, so like they're not gonna like, they're not gonna risk all these hazards that you're risking. As that's, soon as you fall off, they're just like free meal. Feels like my friend who's vegetarian, but if someone has ordered meat and will not finish it, he'll finish the meat because he doesn't want it to go to waste, you know? Okay. So there are these creatures that like they don't want to kill you, but I mean if you're gonna die, they'll just eat you. Mm. It's like we don't want you to die of natural causes. We'll take care of it. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe there's just like a big pile of corpses in the underworld here. Oh my god, look at this point combo. Oh, 56. Oh, I think it's topping your boing combo up to 70. I gotta check this out. This is, uh, this has gotta be the ice world, right? This is the ice world. It's 80, 85. Oh 90. my god! <laughs> Get yeah, to can... 100! Get to 100! Boing, boing! Boing, boing! Oh, yeah, you can just boing forever in there. The secret is it it does not help you. I mean, it gives a score. It does, and it's satisfying. Oh, no, we lost the boing. Oh, topped at 109, I think. But that's some big boings. <laughs> big boing. <laughs> big boinks. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> if only you could modify it to have it say boing. <laughs> I mean, it's already modified. That's the fun part. It's so close. It's so close. <laughs> uh, so, surely you've seen Loco Roco before, right? Like, it, it was a pretty big franchise on the PSP and PS3. Uh, PSP when and PS3. The game, like, the name rang a bell... And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, is this that, like, Piku Niku game? I was like, no, that's something different. <laughs> it, I, I remember, you know, reading EGM or something like that and seeing something about this game where, yeah, the splitting, actually, now that you mention it, where you're supposed to, like, split and then travel through narrow areas and then, like, go through the capillaries or whatever, and then you rejoin. Um, but yeah. That was the extent of it. It's like a pachinko machine at that point. Yeah. yeah, my brain always confused this game and Patapon. It's the same developers. Mm. Patapon came after. Which makes sense why I confused them. Yeah. But Desdar, I think, has one more level now. Sounds right. And a bonus stage. Can't forget that. Oh, the bonus stage. Luckily, you could skip. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is where the guys are like. Too easy. Give him a saw. <laughs> so usually in these games, there's like this house you can put items in, and that's what, what the items you get are for. I don't know what this. Yeah, it's, uh... Hello, Carl. Also, it's a weird feeling seeing a goal where you have no idea of what that goal is. Mm. Right? You open up the pace bin, you're like, oh, beat Kalokaro 1. Well, yeah, that's, okay. that's a good point. Yeah, we talked a little bit about it. Like, when you see a goal like beat 4 4, like, you know, it's like, okay, there's probably going to be 16 levels in this game. Mm -hmm. Or you get a puzzle game, it's like beat puzzles through 30. But this one, you just have no idea how far away it is going to be. Right. And then the fact that I think the the ice one was the only one where you saw it too. Where it was like Champagne 2 or whatever it was called. Because so every level... Yeah. It's like every the, level is just an anticipation of like, is this the is this the level? Right. 
And then the level shows up, and I'm like, all right, read the paste bin again. Is this the last one? Am I sure? I don't think I need to go this way. You're doing bonus. But the last level is it, it works really well as a last level for this goal. You're kind of putting together a lot of the a lot of the skills you've developed, especially the chaining together of wall bounces to avoid the spikes. And for some reason you're just on safari with the giraffe and the elephant. <laughs> just hearing Death Star myth just Seeing his own gibberish. There's a checkpoint right there. Oh, okay. that's good. You on fire? So you would recommend? Would you? Would you continue playing this game then, Shoe Horse? Oh, I'm. I'm still playing it. Well, I mean, like, yeah. You gonna finish the game? Uh, right now, no. But yeah, yeah. I'm and and hearing that there's more in the series, it's a pretty chill. It is local Rocco one and two. Okay. This also seems perfect for, you know, car rides. Ah! Like, I get why this is on PSP. This makes a lot of sense. The, the control scheme is really easy. And it's easy to see what's going on. And it's, it's super forgiving with how long they give you to Boeing. Yeah, but no boinging in the base game. Oh, well, mmm. I don't know about that, then. No boinging in the base game. It is always fun to play a sequel, and then you... And then you go, go back to the original. Controls, go to the original, and you're like, well, this is not the same game. This is kind of a spin-off, really. The levels are a lot shorter. Uh, in the base game, there's always 20... Loco Roco to collect, and it's more about getting to the finish with as many Loco Roco as you can. Uh, and then the other thing is, uh, they're all singing the entire time. Oh man, the bass game has so much better like music integration. The more Loco Roco you have, the more voices join into the song. Right. Whoa. And that is a finish for Death Star. GG. Oh, that's good. Not bad. I'm free. Mystery jams. So good. Green song is even better, I think. But it's very different, so don't expect this. Don't accept the same mouth noises. Uh, well, no, it still has that, but it's it's more like it's like a guitar song, like acoustic guitar. Yeah, because aren't they all their own different theme, like genres? Yeah, in yeah, a yeah, sense? yeah. They're all very different. Yeah, this level's really... <laughs> like, I've seen you on this level for a while now, Shoe Horse. This is not a kind level. No, well, and it turns out that I, I like, find out to the top of the section I was trying to get to, and it's literally just, like, a million points, and then it just sends you back to where you were. So, good, good reason why that, uh, that level probably wasn't included in the goal. Uh, so, that was this race. I'm glad we managed to get this race done, despite the problems. And, uh, let me see who you're playing. I got it up. 
Uh, uh, so, Shoehorse, uh, you will be playing Socrates 315 in your next match. Oh, boy. Uh, things I know about Socrates, he was in uh, Speed Seasons, Season 3. Did pretty well in that. Made top 8. So knows how to knows how to speed run a game. But will that translate into the mystery match against you? We will find out in whenever you decide to schedule yeah. it. <laughs> Less than a week, I guess. Or a week and a half. However long we got. Yeah, losers moves fast. But it's staying at toes. Unfortunately. Really fort incentive to win. Unfortunately, Tezdar has been eliminated from the tournament, but still welcome to join all of the matches because all the matches are public. And here's Tezdar now. GG on completing the goal, Tezdar. Thank you. Uh, congratulations to Sh uh, Shoehorse. Um, thank, thank you. GG. GG's. What, uh, what color did you play as? That's the important question I've <laughs> been wanting to know. I stayed black. Okay. Um, so how how yeah. did you feel about the game, Desdar? Uh, did you have fun with it? It's it's not a bad game, but it it was more frustrating than the first game we drew. I have to say, for, for me at least. Um, Which we will we will keep anonymous uh, for potential redraw reasons for other matches. No problem. But yeah, it was. Uh, it took me it took me a while to get get used to the controls and then I had a few sections that really I got stuck on uh, where I knew what I had to do but wasn't quite able to to do it um, yeah we, we we watched you like we, we I think we could see that what you were trying to like bounce things but it just wasn't going your way yes I'm I'm not sure whether, because I had the feeling that for the jump controls, um, you would jump even if you had let go of the button and tried to tilt. If, if you were, if, if you had, if you, if you didn't let go uh, for, for a certain amount of time, it would still count as you holding both buttons. At least I had a, a bad feeling for, for a while, so. Yeah, it was a bit. Um, the controls were I, I wasn't friendly with the controls let's put it that way for mm -hmm. a while yeah a bit of a, a learning curve like have you played any similar games to this like Shoe Horse had played On the Ball which is an SNES classic game uh, so do you have any experience with like rotating and having that be the main form of control there was one game I, f I forgot Gotten. You're, you're playing a man and you tilt and then you he walks down the slope. Um, oh, there's a, a indie game like and yet it moves. I think. I think that was it. I, I'll, ha I can, I'll have a look if I can find it in my library. But um, yeah, but I think that's I, I I know what game you're referring to. But yeah, like using that and he has to control and if you fall too far, he basically breaks his legs and you got to restart. Yes. <laughs> Um, but as far as I remember, there was no jumping in that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is off of the original Loco Roco, uh, which did not have jumping. Were you familiar with the Loco Roco series? No, not at all. This is my first game of the series. Ah. For which I have to say, I'm I'm quite ha I'm still quite happy with my time, even though I got beaten. Um, for for it being a foreign concept to me, I'm I'm happy with what I grasped and in the time I did it. Um, yeah, there's there's no shame in uh, going 0-2. Uh, one fourth of the competitors in the tournament do lose both their first matches. But I'm yes. glad, I'm glad you you had a fun time and enjoyed yourself. I did. Also, my first game. I, I found it enjoyable. Um, yeah. Don't take this as a complaint, but I'm I'm in one in one 
regards, I'm a little bit frustrated that I felt like I had a better affinity for the first game than the second game. Um, I understand the redraw and everything, and I lost, but I I do want to rid myself of that frustration for the tournament. Yeah, uh, I I can say that I've had a similar experience once in a match where I was destroying in the game, but there was a problem that my opponent had. So we had to redraw into a game that was very much in their favor, and I lost. So I do understand the frustration. And sometimes it just... Yeah, it's just part of the beast sometimes. Yes, I'm looking forward to the next tournament, though. Yeah, we, we'll we have a bunch of other fun events going on at Mystery. Uh, we'll have some yeah, other I... tournaments, uh, as well as uh, I co-host the Mystery Show, which will be coming back in February, if you're looking for a very unique experience. I I, I don't know about the Mystery Show. Um, I don't think I've... I've... I found mystery tournaments when it was still running, but what I am looking forward to, what I found what I found on the Discord is the RPG Book Club. Yes, uh, which I believe has our next game for that. Uh, I can look that up, but it's uh, Shadowrun Dragonfall. Yes. So yeah, we've got a whole bunch of fun things going on in the Mystery Discord. Uh, not to stretch this out. Uh, any other final thoughts on the game, Death Star, Shoe Horse? I'll let the winner go first. Uh, oh, um, the soundtrack is a banger. Yeah. Death Star? Um, I'll be looking forward to finishing it. Um, I'll be taking my time now. Um, <laughs> and I guess it's, I am, I am, I am thinking it's going to be less frustrating if it's not in a race and I get stuck. Um, but it's good enough that I do look forward to finishing it. All right, cool. Uh, Maurice, do we? Uh, what do we have coming up on the schedule? We, we got one match coming up. It's a double. In just over an hour. Gonna go down for that. I don't think we can talk about local Roku for that long. Uh, Ring of Dawn versus Callback and BTS versus Kappa Chat. So, some pretty good matches, I think. And what looks like a little later on at 7, we've got Arrow Fodder versus Thor of Kenya. And then Syra Hydra versus Malakwire after that. So we will be back. Uh, thank you both so much for a fun race. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for putting this whole thing together. Uh, and we will see you in a couple hours. One hour. A couple half hours. Okay. See you then. Okay. <laughs>